Hey, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Amani Forrester, author of the book, 30 Reasons Why Men Deserve Nothing, Level Up to Your Best Life. You can get on Amazon, as you see, for free if you have Kindle. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has left a review so far. And I really hope that everyone else who has placed orders is enjoying their books. You can click the link in my description to grab your copy or to read it. it really helps the channel out. And you know what else helps the channel too? When you guys subscribe. So thank you to all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. And click the bell notification so you never miss a video. Now let's jump into today's video because it's a good one. It's a really, really good one. So recently a post went viral from somebody named that PHC boy and it got over 1.8 million views and 3,000 reposts, 2,000 likes, hundreds of comments. In his tweet he says, if you are going to be child free and probably unmarried for the rest of your life, you have to take your physical and mental health seriously. This includes your brain health so you can live independently for as long as possible without having to rely on others. And then he adds, please develop a good relationship with exercise early enough. It doesn't have to be a gym. It doesn't have to be a gym. It can be football, tennis, dancing, walking, etc. Anything you enjoy and can be consistent at. You will need to be active as you get older. You will need physical independence. Diet is another one. Eat a lot of greens if you can. Consult a specialist. Health insurance covers mine. And find out what you should eat more and what you should eat less. Brain health is so important, he continues. Things like dementia and Alzheimer's will have you dependent on others. See a neurologist at least once a year. But you can try public hospitals. And then he says, finally sort out your finances. You won't have kids who will support you as you get older, so you must plan with this in mind, so you have something to put away when you are unable to work. Here's some comments. <laughs> Somebody says, my mother's been stressing this to me for years. My choice not to have kids means I'm very likely to be alone in my old age and need to make absolute sure to keep fit and never get too old to be 100% self-sufficient. She's right. I've def taken that very seriously, but more so this year than ever. Such an important point that isn't talked about enough. Somebody else says, not unlike us married folks with kids. Somebody says, you should do that. If you have a spouse and kids too, my guy. Somebody else says, you should do that anyways, or else you're in for a rude awakening. This person says, or you can get rich and afford any care you want. Stop acting like marriage and kids are the only solutions to ill health. And then somebody else says, nah, married people should too. You think every kid on earth is going to take care of their pops and ma? And I'll read two more. So somebody else says, you should be doing this whether you have kids or not. Talk to people who already have grown children. Many don't even remember their parents once they meet men slash women and get in relationships and stuff. It's a bad idea to think your kids are going to care for you. And then somebody says, What does this be healthy advice have to do with children? It's very short-sighted of you. Okay, I'll read one more. This person says, The alternative to a biological community is a chosen one. Maybe invest in making friends. Maybe help out your neighbors who have kids and invite them over. Send a holiday card. We aren't being made to choose total social isolation. Now, I don't know this man from a can of paint, but I am just going to throw in my little two cents. Um, I find it very interesting that he directed this tweet at child-free and unmarried people. Well, first of all, he's assuming that child-free people are going to be unmarried. And then you know that when he's saying child-free, it's kind of a dog whistle towards women. So he's only really talking about women here, not even men as such. And then his reasoning for people being healthy and independent is that they won't have children to rely on. Meanwhile, children are not a retirement plan. You shouldn't be having children uh, assuming that they are going to take care of you when you're older. Like lots of people are in elderly homes and they have children. So, I mean, that didn't work out, right? The reality is that when you have children, you don't have them so that you can hold it over them when they're older and be like, you owe me, I took care of you, you have to take care of me. Ideally, you live with full independence your entire life. But even if you grow older and you do need some help, I'm sure people are not going to turn down their children helping them. If their children are able to and willing to, I'm sure most people would be very happy with that. But at the same time, anything can happen in your life. You can become estranged from your children. They can move away. 
They can be busy with their own families. They can maybe not even have the means to take care of you physically or financially. So I think that relying on other people as some kind of retirement plan is just a bad idea in general and just something that we should all try to avoid as much as possible anyway, <laughs> whether we are married, whether we have kids. I think more so it's important to build community as you get older. It's important to have a loving group of people around you, whether that's a spouse, whether that's you know, friends, family, I think that's the most important thing. As we get older, people become more isolated in general. So it's just a good idea to just build, focus on building quality relationships um, and, and not relying on children. So I think it's good advice, but I still think it's not coming from a 100% um, genuine place. I think it's kind of still meant to kind of just scare women a bit and um, just kind of make them rethink the idea of being child free and make it seem like like they're being irresponsible it's also very presumptuous like wh why should someone only be healthy if they don't have children like that's another thing too so yeah i don't know just my two cents i found this very interesting um he's at least garnered a lot of conversation in the comment section lots of people have their opinions i'd love to hear yours make sure to leave it down below and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one